the music of Afghanistan really, I don't know, it touched my heart for a reason that I cannot explain. And I was really lucky to get the chance to study with the, one of the few masters of this instrument, the rubab. And through the, the study of this instrument, the apprenticeship of this instrument, I've been, uh, of course, researching Afghan music as well. Uh, which is quite difficult actually because um, the country is really small and it has known more than 50 years of uh, like severe problems and like issues, wars, political trouble, it's really awful. And so this music, this art form, really all you can find is scattered bits everywhere. Uh, mostly on the internet, that's really the chance we have with the internet, is that people uploading their own content, their own material online, makes it possible to actually um, recompose some kind of figure of it and that's what I've been I've been trying to do for a little while now and that's what's fueling my uh, my passion for the music for the instrument and the passion for the music is also fueling the work let's say Uh, this kind of music, this kind of tradition, usually people like them, people enjoy them, people really enjoy listening to them in a live environment because it's contact with the live tradition, with the culture of a different country, different uh, people. And part of this whole master program, we can also think of novel ways using technology, using those uh, fancy visualization systems that we have uh, here to use. Uh, and so my idea was that by developing some kind of visual uh, performance, visual uh, uh, experience for um, audience, like for 21st century audience, well it could possibly be a new way to bring them actually in contact with those old tradition, old art form, and hopefully kind of ignite a new kind of engagement with them to, to try to preserve them, safeguard them.